Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of the Just Us PDX Podcast. This is your host, Everett. This is Thomas. And this is your girl, Rondi. Is it Randy or Rondi? Rondi. Hey, Rondi. Yeah, Rodney. I work at uh, Angel Now. Rodney. Angel Now. Moving along. Remember, you can always follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, we're going to have this one on YouTube as well. And the YouTube and the Facebook are exactly the same. Just as us, PDX Podcast. Instagram is just underscore us underscore PDX underscore podcast. If you ever have any show concerns, complaints, you want to just say what's up, you got some ideas you want us to look over, uh, you can always email us at just us, pdx number seven at gmail.com. We are the voice of the PDX, and if you are looking to help support us and another black business, um, feel free to go to one of our partnering websites, which is formmymelanin.com. They have anything and everything on there. Just use our promo code just us. You get 15% off. Again, that is for my melanin.com. Just us is the code. Get that 15% off, y'all. Play a play. All right. So this is the show that everybody's been waiting to do. Uh, we were planning to have the full cast here, but the dark members decided they <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting them to say that. That's me. You gotta you you never expect what I'm gonna say, so you just you know the show is supposed to be funny anyway, so fuck it. We about to make this fit hilarious. Uh everybody knows the song Twenty One Questions. Um Oh, we should have had that playing. That's what we should have Man, we should have had yeah. Man, or something. I mean we could redo it, but I'm not doing that. Fuck it. Um I mean if you find an instrumental or something, but so we got twenty one questions, so how are we doing this? Because everybody wrote their own questions. How many questions do I got a piece? I got five. I got five. I got one too. Yeah. I got five. Okay, so y'all got. I said we let Randy start it off. You know, that's the newest member. You know. Well, yeah, we let her start, but okay, okay. Here's what we do. Are we gonna do? You gonna go through your whole five questions? Because we gotta get to twenty one. Right now, I got just seven questions. So right now, we got what? I think we should just all ask our question. We all answer it, and then we go to the next person. True. Like yeah, that. I like that. So everybody can get their questions out and their answers out. So I'll I'll ask. I mean, yeah, I'll just yeah, ask my question, questions, and then we'll all answer it, and then Everett, you'll go. Thomas, you'll go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we all get our questions out. All right, go ahead. Right, you start. I'm just make up some other questions because y'all probably got some crazy wild shit. I'm just being. Mine busy. ain't too wild. Well, we don't know that. Uh, mine ain't too too wild. Well, I was trying to keep it. Hello. What, PG-13? My shit PG, straight up, son. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, go ahead. All right. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to start off. I'm about to say, should, 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 we have, should we have her answer her own question or just? I'll be the last. Yeah, okay, she'll how we'll do it. All right. We'll answer our question last. So we'll ask it, and then you guys will answer it, and then I'll ask, I'll end it with answering it. I'll say it and then I'll end it with answering. You know what I'm saying? Yep. All right. Okay. Okay, cool. What's the most embarrassing thing your parents caught your ass doing? Ooh. <laughs> uh, what was you wait, doing, boy? Okay, I'm going to go first because I don't know. Um, I, I didn't get caught doing anything, actually. I never got caught doing anything. But... Uh, this is when I was in high school, probably like my senior year. Um, my then girlfriend, we I think we had skipped school or whatever happened, but we was at the house, you know, doing, um, doing something. And then my pops it's came to the crib. Boy. So my pops came to the crib, and I was like, oh, fuck. And I didn't think he was going to open skipping? my door. What? You were skipping too? I believe. I, no, no, I don't. I honestly don't remember. I don't think I was skipping, but fuck okay, it. It sounds more interesting. I was skipping school. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't think I was, though. But uh, we was at the house. We was in the room. And, you know, it, it, whatever happened, happened. We were just laying there. And my pops came home, and I wasn't expecting this man to come back to the crib. And I definitely wasn't expecting his ass to come knock on my door. <laughs> so, Damn. 
Like we was dead quiet, you know, he was just laying there. And then, you know, he come through the he come through the front door and, and like in my house. Have you been to my parents' house? Mm-mm. Oh, well, if you've been there, you would know exactly where my room is. But why do I have don't be a menace uh uh, the, the movie in my head. Remember when the lady came home? <laughs> Hold them down for me. <laughs> yeah. I have that in my head. <laughs> Your wild ass imagination. But yeah, so he uh he came in, knocked on the door, um, and you know, I thought he was gonna just leave, so you know, I was trying to just play it cool and you know, he knocked on the door, opened or he either opened the door, I think he opened the door. I thought it was locked. <laughs> it was oh, locked. that's cool. It's a cold and then he just, you know, he just seen us there. And he kind of closed the door, and you know, he's kind of he's he mad at that point. So I had, to, I had to get my <laughs> ass up and go explain myself. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I never got caught doing that because yeah. Mm, I got one. What happened? <laughs> so, um, my dad had just started living with us. I was probably say eight at the time and I think my little brother was like four and my dad always had stuff and we would always wanted to go through it so one day we was like all right let's let's go through it and we go through it and we find a Playboy magazine and I'm like hey bro come here look what I found and my brother, he pulls that muff out. Like, the whole thing. He just takes it out the thing. And he's looking at it. And we're looking at it like, what are these? It's like, oh, she got hair down there. Right? <laughs> Bro, my mom comes in the door. And she's like, hey, what what the fuck are y'all looking at? And we just look at it like deer in the headlights. Like, uh, uh. She's like, who's this? That? I was like, dad's. <laughs> Oh man, y'all like got kind of, I can't break him. Hell yeah, yeah, better him than me. <laughs> he can take an ass but I can't. I'm a, I'm a kid. So I, shit, I sold him out quick. No repercussions came my way, but I got yelled at. And uh yeah, I don't know if my my little brother even remembers that. We were like, yeah, we were young. That was it. Crazy. Tell me about it. <laughs> shit. I think my my story was um I think we were like 15, sophomore year. And um, my older sister used to always buy me liquor. But my mom didn't know that we'd be drinking and shit. So we're in the room. And you know, you always have that one stupid ass cousin that can't handle her liquor. She just gonna bust everybody out. Yep. So we was in my room, next to my mom's room. And I used to be lit. I used to come home lit. Like, cause I used to have my home, my best friend lives literally right around the corner. Like in my backyard was my best friend's house. So we'll be drinking. She had no friends, so we'll be drinking and stuff, but we'll be at home. So remember, I told you guys, I always like to come to my house. So we'll be drinking and just playing games and stuff in my room. So I was in my room next to my mom's room, and we lit drinking. I think uh, Mad Dog, Ugh. Mad Dog, <laughs> 2020, oh. Mad Dog, and then always that vodka oh, yeah. with the uh, remember those three liter at uh, Rite Aid? Yep. They were a dollar. Just 
question for y'all be uh, is there anyone you would risk it all for? Not your family, not your friends. I'm talking about a celebrity person, somebody you want real bad. When you say risk it all, it's you, 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 <laughs> risk it all, everything. You, you, whatever it takes. Like when you was younger, when you was younger, you was like, I, I, I gotta be with them. I, I, it don't matter. They, well, they pulled up and this and that. Baby. Yeah, you risk it all. Ooh, yeah. Who? Rihanna. Go ahead, Thomas. You can I was, answer. I was, Rihanna. I was say, I didn't go say Rihanna. Rihanna. Okay, so Rihanna for you. So you, you still risk it all for Rihanna right now? No, no, not right now. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm just making sure. You know. If you say yeah. Back in the day, though, yeah, yeah. Back was, in the was day, you, was you Bow Wow here? could get okay. it. Oh, okay. Bow Wow. Like a real, real Wait, you say Bow Wow? Yeah. She said Shad Moss, not Chad. Shad. 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 Okay. Okay. Shad wants to get it all. Because then I met him in real life, and then he was like my height, and I was like, I'm. You didn't know he was short? Yeah, he is. No, he's like. Like, no, he's like five. He's like five four. He's like down size. Five yeah, four, five five. Like, he's like my height. He's like stupid small. And I was Probably like, like a little cute couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at them living in their little tiny homes. It's like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, yeah they, so. they tiny home would be a mansion to them. <laughs> look at all this space. I oh, think y'all so funny. <laughs> Too. I'm trying to hate you talking about you. <laughs> Mac is like short people. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so that was back in the day. I'm talking about right now. Back in the day. Now, mm -hmm. I'm older. I'm more mature. Whatever. Uh huh. Okay, uh -huh. I ain't risking that. Yeah. I'm straight. I ain't got no fetish like that. That's that's. That's I'll, I'll say it's, it's a no for me. Okay. I'm good. All right. What about you? And what about you? Yeah, what about you? Yeah. 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 Honestly, nobody. I'm, so, how I look at, like, celebrity, I don't look at celebrities as celebrities necessarily. I look at them as just regular ass people. So, right. when, when people would be like, oh, I, you know, they got this, they so fine. And, okay, there's a regular ass person. They got problems. They got, problems, yeah, they got problems, they got problems, so it's like I don't look at you know when they say they're a celebrity, and then I look at people who like a lot of people fantasize about and whatnot, and just like look at how they carry themselves and everything. And so, mm -hmm. like, if you are if you if you are totally different and act all bougie because you know you got money now, you know you're real right. famous and popular. I don't want to deal with that. Nope. Like I don't care if I had one day just do whatever. And it's like nah, man. Like I'm straight. You know I got the woman I got is a woman. I asked God for when I was fucking seven years old. I kept praying for a woman just like this. So I got what I needed. I don't give a damn right. how fine you are, how much money you got. That shit will go. That will fade because money ain't everything. Looks ain't everything. Right. I mean, That's a lot of people right. buying their bodies, you know, doing whatever for money. Money ain't that. I mean, yes, we all have to be, you know, you know, wealthy and whatnot. But at the same time, happiness is more important. I'd rather be happy, man. You know, so there's there's literally not no celebrity. Even back in the day, there was nobody. I mean, I had celebrity crushes and whatnot, but nobody I'd risk it all for. You bitches ain't worth it. <laughs> These whole things over. Okay. All right. All right. I got one for y'all. That's so yeah. Tom. Tom. All right. We don't do that. That's yeah. an uncle. That's a, that's the old white guy that's in his forties. That's see, that's why I'm changing my goddamn name to Antoine. He's gonna be Twan. Yeah, Uncle Twan. <laughs> All right. So uh, my question is, out of all your exes you dated, oh, which one do you regret dating? You trying to make? You trying to? You trying to? Oh yeah, see, I see. We gotta say names. Huh? No, you ain't gotta say names because I don't want Why you to. Cause I'm gonna say 
Cuz, man, I ain't trying to have no... Are they going to hear it? What are they going to do about it? Yeah. Are they going to hear it? Probably. What are they going to do about it? It's a possibility. Oh. Everything's a possibility. What the hell are they going to do? I'm just going to say the second one. You know the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> she said the second one. Uh, that motherfucker. Which one did I regret dating? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I ain't never had a fucking ex-girlfriend regret <laughs> Um, Actually, that's not the second one. Who's sorry? The third shit. All of them. <laughs> put, put them in one basket. Just put them all in the basket. <laughs> put them in the basket. Just all of them. Throw all them hoes away. They all gotta go. Man, I say two. I have two. You have two that you can Two. I'll give you one of the names, but the one, one name you already know for sure. Okay. The other name is Michelle. And the reason why I regret messing with her is because she was untrustworthy. Bitch went through my phone. <laughs> and we wasn't even serious like that. Like, you shouldn't be going through nobody's phone if you ain't serious like that. Nor were you paying my bill. And you lied to me. So when I asked you, hey, did you go through my phone? You're going to look me dead in my eyes and tell me no. But I know that you know that you went in my phone. I can't have that. <sighs> Call me petty. So you don't like her because she went through your phone and found out that you was not trusting No, I wasn't doing <laughs> no, I wasn't doing anything. She just literally went through my phone for no reason. Mm-hmm. It was it was laying like I left it a certain way. And <laughs> yeah, I leave it a certain There's way. There's certain things we do with our phones and, and we know exactly if you touch it or do something. And I noticed I had a message that came in at one o'clock in the morning. I was already knocked out by then, but the message had been read already. And I was like, okay, that's weird. So then my phone was also, I had it, I had my phone at an angle, like, you know, like facing, like the the front was like facing towards a certain way. I woke up, it was the complete opposite. And I'm like, I don't mess with my phone in my sleep. So, you know, I asked her. And she's like, no, nah, I didn't mess with it. And then, like, two weeks later, she confessed. And I was like, yeah, we done. It's like, if this is what you'll lie, if, if you lie about something this small, then imagine something big happening and you lying about that also. I'm cool. That's true. Who's the other one? You ain't got to say it because you ain't going to say it because I know who it is. Well, that bitch was just untrustworthy, <laughs> unloyal, bitch ass made fool. That's what <laughs> she was. I don't know who it is. That's what I don't know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Y'all dated? Yeah. Yeah, dog. For like oh. two and a half years. I thought that was just a jump off. No. No, fam. All right. Well, hey. All right. Who, uh, who, what's up, what? Randy's next? Yep. All right, Randy, your question. <laughs> what's your biggest sexual fear? Ooh, ooh, that's a tough one. Ooh, I know one. No, what one? Yours. I I got one right here. You're going down on your chick, and and her time of the month start. That's your biggest fear. That's my biggest fear, bro. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm gonna like that. That's nasty. That, what, that's what, nasty. What do they call that? Because running the red light is doing on your period, but what do they call it? It's, it's, it's a name. It is a name. I don't name. know, man. I'm just going to call it. I'm just going to say you like sloppy joes. <laughs> yeah. Um, my biggest sexual fear. Man. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. How do I send it? My dick break. <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, wow. like if it's if it's that's crazy. I remember. Yeah, if you bend it or whatever, you can you can definitely like tear out the muscle and then get your hand the blood flow. Now you're Jesus. looking up pictures and shit. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what about? Yeah. What, what's yours? What's uh, yours, Randy? Um. Oh, I don't know. Um. <laughs> 
the other question. <laughs> does have a website it's closet by king and it's actually spelled with a k uh so it's k-l-o-s-e-t-b-y-k-n-y-a.com um, she does have a text line as well so if you want some information you want to figure out you know what the what's behind everything was on her blog on her website um <clears throat> but if you have any questions you can you know email her that way through the website uh she does have a, a Text line, which is 225-317-9030. I wish I had some of the actual stuff to show or say about, but it is a black woman's in, uh, empowerment clothing line. Uh, her voice is her power. I think I said that right. Uh, her voice is power. That is one of her taglines she has for uh, her clothing line. So check that out. Uh, closetbykenya.com and closet is with a K. Um, <clears throat> I guess it's on me again? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think if I want to uh, keep it real, son. Oh, no, I'm always keeping it real because I don't have anything to hide, y'all. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Since we're trying to bring up freaking sexual questions. You might get the reference. Randy, you probably won't know what the hell I'm talking about, but since you're looking up everything, have you given yourself a stranger? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Have you given yourself a stranger? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to tell you what giving yourself a stranger is, okay? <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, give yourself a stranger is when you sit on your hand until it becomes numb, right? And then when you sit on it, you start playing with yourself. So... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a Dave Chappelle it's Dave reference. Chappelle reference. <laughs> it's off the Chappelle show. Oh, shit. Oh. No, nah, I ain't never did that. <laughs> uh. He's saying, have you ever given yourself a stranger? I'm dead. Look up, oh. since you don't know what it is in the reference, I watched the Chappelle show, and uh, I think it's given Why would some. it make you feel like a stranger? Anymore? Because your hand is numb, right? And you don't feel yourself doing it until, like, so it feels like it's a stranger. Like, it's like, oh, shit, my hand is numb. I can't feel nothing, but somebody's... I'm reading it. It's like, it's really on Google. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I had to oh throw a funny name there. Give yourself a stranger. What <laughs> a, a what? A stranger? <laughs> <laughs> watch the clip while you over there. Watch the clip. Oh, that's funny as shit. I'm sorry. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that, bro. <laughs> Expect the unexpected when it comes to my questions. Okay. Uh, Thomas, you're up. Damn, bro. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go with something a little bit on the positive side. Uh, what is your greatest achievement? My children. I would say my son as well. I, I have the same thing as well as my kids. See, so, we like loving that. parents. So you don't like Check that. that out. Best thing best. I ever, best thing I ever made. Yeah. That's right. Ready? Back on you. 
I would say my child. No, I'm talking about um, Woman? I would say, um, She's I would say my child, and I also say, um, buying my first property. That was a big one for me. I literally, I was so focused and driven to make this shit happen and give my child, when I was bringing my child home from the hospital, I wanted to be able to bring him home. I literally was on, like, in the hospital bed, about to push my son out, and I had the mortgage company at the hospital signing the documents. Like, I was very determined. That's all because <laughs> she was in labor. She was like, Whoa! Yes, I was in labor, and I literally <laughs> had that man come up there, and I was signing papers to make sure that my son had a purchase home. So that was a very proud moment for me that I was determined, and I would get that back. All right, I respect. I would just.